Hey everybody, Brandon, Bearded CB82. As you can see, I got some parts here. Uh, what we're going to be doing with these today, I've just got the uh, two receiver halves. Uh, this is a uh, Mill Sport by ATI, and uh, this is an Aero Precision. Uh, this is going to be going for the pistol build for mine. Uh, the one for AOK -OK that's going to be coming up. Uh, by the time I do her special video, I'm doing a custom job for her as well on uh, her lower. Uh, that'll be coming through down the line eventually. We're going to be uh, painting these. So I've got my glove ready. I've got brake clean over on the toolbox. I've got uh, airline over here. So we're going to get everything degreased. And we're going to be using, uh, I've had it warming up. Oh. This, that bag that it was in inside of the bucket of uh, hot water to warm it up uh, was, might have had a hole in it. So, can got a little wet, but it's all warmed up now. Um, Brownells Desert Tan Aluma Hide, that's going to be my base coat on this. And then as I get the rest of the parts, it's going to be the base coat on uh, the fore end as well uh, for the pistol build. Let's set that right there. And uh, I will be leaving that on there. Hold on. I had a driver show up and I got to go check his uh, windshield wiper nozzle out. So we'll be back. All right. So uh, kind of lost track of where I was. I had to go help a driver real quick. He had a frozen wiper uh, sprayer nozzle on semi truck and he's just uh, stopping in to roll back through to pick up a load, so he had to take the truck back with him. Anyways, uh, so I think I was saying that, well, I got the aero precision because uh, when I went home for Christmas, see my folks on the way back, stopped by Brownells, and I was able to use uh, the Christmas money they gave me to get this since they were on sale at, I want to say, uh, around the uh, 40, 45 dollar mark, give or take, after everything was said and done. But it's got the little bitty American flag right there. I'm going to be leaving that on there um, as is, just going to put a little piece of tape over it for when I get this painted up. So I've got a box set up over here to the side. I've got my paint all heated up, just need to shake the crap out of it. and. Uh, my uh, my lower and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the base coat on these we're gonna use a little bitty cheap Harbor Freight heat gun to uh, get the parts heated up after we degrease these with some brake clean and blow everything off and we're gonna see how it goes I know there's plenty of other people out there that got God's end of videos on the Aluma hide, and uh, I need to pick up a couple more colors too next time I go over there and uh, save on shipping. Uh, I'm gonna let me see uh, Buffalo's Outdoors. There's probably like about a hundred or two hundred, maybe more videos on uh, using the Aluma hide. Let's get to it. All right, so kind of got my. Uh, booth somewhat set up got these all degreased and uh, use the air compressor blow them all off real well uh, make sure all the nooks and crannies were dry uh, I've got the lower kind of hung up how I want because I don't want anything to go into the uh, <clears throat> where the detent pick goes into on the front I just want that smooth the back one I'm not so worried about because I can clean that out rel relatively easily if I need to uh, but yeah, we're using the desert tan. I know the top looks a little pink, but we'll see how this stuff goes on. Uh, if it goes on a really good sand color, I'm just going to leave that as the base for mine. Uh, then, like I said, down the road, we'll uh, when I get the other colors in, we'll uh, do some more. So, and I need more parts anyways. It's uh, I'm gonna get them as I'm able to type deal for uh, for both builds. So we've got a few things, some stuff from DRG Manufacturing, uh, some other stuff. Uh, well, we'll see that later. Let's uh let's get to this. So we're gonna heat this up. 
Turn it on low. It gets pretty hot, pretty quick. You want to do this so it opens up the pores on the metal. It's kind of Got my shaking in. There we go. And uh, reason I went with this rather than other rattle can versions, I can do multiple layers of this, heat it up to get it baked in with the heat gun, essentially after it flashes. And uh, yeah, it's uh, an epoxy based, not an enamel based. Uh, epoxy based, just like Cerakote or all the other stuff, so it'll last a little bit longer than your regular rattle can. All right, so another thing is uh, you do want to use this stuff in a well-ventilated area. I'm in a pretty big shop, so focus. There we go. And got her all mixed up now. Going on nicely. And uh, let's go for it. We will be doing several layers. So. Oh, that's nice. I like the way that color's turning out. Alright, so far I'm uh, definitely pleased with the way the color is turning out. I did have to swap out the first tip. Um, it didn't take it too long to uh, get a little bit plugged up, but um, I got spare nozzles from here in the shop from other stuff that we use, so you know, no big deal there. And uh, liking how it's going on, liking how it how it's flashing, how it's setting. Uh, so far this thing is working fairly well to help it out and uh, I like the color. Um, I really like that color. I'm glad I chose it for a base color. So, and uh, get a few more layers done on this and uh, then get that stuff baked in down the road here. So, all right, so far so good. All right, so as you can see, I've got my parts all painted here. I went with, uh, oh, it was four, uh, kind of one real quick base layer and then about four really good coats. Not heavy, heavy cake it on coats, but four full coverage coats basically. And I'm happy with uh, how this Brownells stuff really worked. Um, I like the color. I, it's going to be a really awesome base color. Uh, hopefully here within the next few weeks or so we'll be getting some uh, hand guards in and be able to uh, get that painted as well. Definitely be going with the same base coat for that and then uh, we're going to add a couple more colors to it. I'm going to show these to Tack here after a little bit, see how she likes this color or if she wants to go with the uh, Magpul FDE, uh, a little bit more this color. Um, it is lighter, but that's perfectly fine. 
The uh, heat gun did help speed up after it flashed uh, the setting of the paint a little bit better, um, allowing each coat to go on better and warming up the paint and the metal uh, allowed that to go in pretty well as well. So there you have it. Get yourself a cheap little uh, heat gun to speed up your process a little bit. You know, nine dollars, it was worth it. It is winter outside and so there again helps it out. So I did have these inside my apartment till uh, today and wanted to give this a shot. So, so far so good as I go back in and out of focus and uh, works awesome. Can't wait to can't wait to get the rest of it together and I'm just going to go with the regular black pins and controls for contrast on that just because I think it'll look nice. I'm going to get my build, my project is what I want to do. So. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in and uh, bearing with me on, uh, yeah, I know I should be out ice fishing, but I've got other stuff I had to catch up here for the tool channel too. So I ended up knocking out a few birds with one stone. So anyways, y'all uh, take care and uh, yeah, hopefully we get some ice fishing in soon because been going kind of stir crazy the past month. So later.